Dual Review is brought to you by SpiderWolf.com. On today's Dual Review, it's Batman Arkham Origins. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today's the 12th, and we're finally taking a look at Batman Arkham Origins, which his thumbs are probably sore. Yes, it is. I've played this non-stop um, since the day I got it, played online, played everything. Uh, so anyways, this came out, this was uh, WB uh, Montreal that came out with it, although the multiplayer was done by, uh, uh, what is it, uh, why am I forgetting the name, Splash Damage. Splash Damage did the multiplayer, there you go. Uh, so go ahead and tell us more about it. Well, I was uh, I was really hoping to get the collector's edition, and that's actually why we kind of put this off. Uh, but I still haven't gotten it yet, unfortunately. But uh, the guys at uh, which I I don't want to name the store just in case it gets them in trouble. They let me actually have a copy to play, and uh, I will like trade it in for the collector's once I get the collector's edition, yada yada. So I was able to play it as well. I played all the way through it. Played a bunch of uh, uh, online uh, multiplayer with uh, my. My nephew Sam, actually, and he's been on some game labs with us. Anyway, um, so I've had a lot of time with it, and I very much loved the Asylum and Arkham City. Uh, the series has been great. I would put it maybe third or fourth in my all-time favorite because Mass Effect is like number one. Yeah, of trilogies, yes. And then if they had a Borderlands trilogy, that would be up there. They don't have that yet. I really like Un Uncharted. Dead and Space. Dead Space. The third one kind of let me down. But anyway, but this is also a really great trilogy. And I was kind of trepidatious because, you know, we changed hands here with developers. Yeah, from Rocksteady to WB. And also doing a prequel. And it's kind of like, well, you know, it's like you've seen an obvious progression from Asylum to Arkham City. Although they're still both pretty tight games. Yes. So there's really nothing to complain about. But then it's like, hey, we're doing this detective mode and all this other stuff now. So it's kind of like, but that was before the other one. So why isn't it, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of hard for us to, to kind of figure that out. But yeah. I really had no problem with it, honestly. You might disagree with me. Uh, overall, I found the experience. Just let me finish and I'll let you go take it, you know. Uh, I, I, overall, I really enjoyed the experience. I liked the pacing. I really enjoyed the story that was there. I think that they made a marketing faux pas by pushing something that's not really capitalized in the game, and we'll talk more about that. Uh, but overall, and even the multiplayer, is freaking awesome when it works. Yes. So, um, really, you're the one that's super excited about this, so I'm going to let you So the biggest problem it. with Arkham Origins is the glitching. It's There's so many problems with this poor game, it's, it's unfortunate. Just, I think you had more than me, because I have an older PS3, and I, they've always been a little better. I must have, I, because... I didn't notice much. The first thing that you noticed, especially when playing the story mode, is the frame rate issues. Every now and then it just kind of skips... And you're just like left wondering what's going on. If it froze or not. Yeah, if it, sometimes I had it freezes. A couple of those. Uh, one of the biggest problems that people had, I didn't, thankfully, was falling through the floor or yeah. not being able to progress. But I, I, I kind of whizzed through that, so yeah, that was fine. That um, the combat isn't as tight. And I this, totally disagree. This is not a glitch. This is an actual thing. I believe that the combat is not as tight as it was in Arkham City or Arkham Asylum. I, I might say that it's not quite as easy, but I totally disagree. In fact, I love the combat because you can screw yourself up over and over over and over if you're not careful if right. you don't time it right right in arkham origin i mean in arkham city and arkham asylum when you when you do combat you're in the combat mode uh and you're tapping that attack button and someone you know has that counter attack button go, or, or sign you know the spider sense go off on the top of their head you have a chance to hit triangle and get it and it interrupts any combo that you're doing you just kind of get it and way to go um, in this one, you have to attack and then wait to see if someone's attacking you. You have to be again. in the right position in your combo. So to me, it was I really had to know Batman and know that you know at this point in his animation, if I continue to go, if somebody tries to attack me, I'm going to be screwed. So yes, I need to back off and wait for that. I, I had no problem. I loved it actually. I I did not. I think that in I think especially better, Arkham City, it was honestly. so much more fluid feeling. It's much more easy though. It, I disagree, but. Well, it is uh, well, easier. Yes, because... yes, you're right. It is easier only because in this one I have to attack and then wait to see what but, anyone does and then attack. But We also I... have that problem with Deadpool. He, he doesn't enjoy the combat, and right. I love the combat. Right. So it, it might just speak to us differently, you know, different right. different play styles. But as as far as story, it for, is different. As far as story for Arkham Origins goes, I had fun with the story. I just wish it was longer, and I wish that they capitalized on the assassins more. Yes. Because 
spoiler. Yeah, spoiler, guys. Spoiler. Literally, you see each. Uh, uh, you you have uh, and it's uh, you have to fight each assassin only once per game. Uh, you know that's it in the entire game. Not even that once. really. I mean, kind yeah. of, but yeah. It's one of like, those things that the, the story is very good, but because they were like eight assassins, blah blah blah, you're like waiting for that, and yes. it never shows up. Right. So it's like, damn it. And and but well, I stepped back and I thought about it, and it's it's a really freaking good game. It's a good story. Great. It, it is. It is a solid story. It t- it has a twist in there that you weren't really expecting, and then you're like, oh hey, uh, the the black mask bit. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. It was it was in there. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> And this is the first game where you actually get to see Alfred, too. So it was nice to go and chat with oh, Alfred. Oh, he's kind of a dick. He, well, actually, to me, it was Batman, <laughs> Batman was such dick. a dick to Alfred. But then the more you talk to him, plus you get experience for talking to Alfred. But the more you talk to him, the better off their relationship becomes. And then they start making jokes. Um, so there is that kind of, like, development between them. Uh, and then there's multiplayer. And I had a lot of fun with multiplayer when you can play multiplayer. Oh, he spent so much time waiting and crashing yeah. and rebooting and... Yeah, literally, you're sitting there, literally, because I've, I've timed it, 20 minutes with no one joining a chat room. You know, you you just have, or not a chat room, but a, 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 a game. A yeah. game, yeah. So you're just sitting there waiting. And the game works okay when you play with uh, uh, four people, no, not four, yeah. five people, six people, and then eight people. So six and eight, because at five, sometimes it's two, it's Batman and Robin. Versus two versus one. Yeah. Right. So let me explain it. that. Um, so there's three factions that play in each round. You have... Uh, the Joker gang, you have the Bane gang, and then you have Batman and Robin, the heroes. Uh, and then it's three versus three versus two. So the two obviously game, are yeah. Batman and Robin for a full game. Right. So you don't want it to be Batman and Robin and then two on one side and one on the other because that person is just going to lose, period, and chances are the heroes are going to win. But as they have it, three versus two versus three is actually pretty good. I really dig that. Even two versus two versus two is pretty good, honestly. Yes, yes, it is. I, it's I, a little easier for Batman. But... I prefer the three and three yeah, versus two. Uh, or the three versus two versus three. Um, but yeah, and then and then when you're playing it, it can just freeze. And then you're like, no, because you're doing so well and you're just pissed that it froze. Or you can go, yeah, because you were doing really crappy. Yeah, and then you well, don't have to worry about that, it. That's my major complaint is that they don't do enough to balance the teams. Like, it'll literally be the most two, two most experienced on the Joker gang, say. Right. And then, like, the two least experienced on the Bane gang. Right. And it's not necessarily whatever, but your weapons aren't as good and all that stuff. So you just own, you know. And so, and then Batman and Robin is, is a very interesting dynamic. Because if you know what you're doing, it's a lot of fun. But if you have one guy that doesn't know what he's doing, every time one of the heroes gets knocked out, it kind of, like, degresses your progress. Right. So it bumps you down a notch. So you could be doing super well, and then your idiot partner, you know, <laughs> dies twice in a row, and you're like, okay, well, yeah. there's no way I'm going to win this now. So to yeah, explain so. that, to explain that, each each um, thug gang has uh, a number of reinforcements, and you're whittling it down until you're the last uh, uh, group. So when there's no more uh, 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 reinforcements, it's it's this is your last life. Once you die, you're dead, unless you can kill them. Uh, whereas the heroes. They have this kind of bar, so you're trying to instill fear in them, so you're constantly taking out enemies through takedowns and then running away so you don't die, and that kind of builds it up, and once you reach the top, you win. So it's actually, it is actually very difficult for the heroes because you have to get in close with the takedowns, uh, and it is very difficult for the uh, 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 gangs because just sheer numbers, there's a lot of them, and you just have to keep killing each other. And then the gangs are very, you know, FPS, you know, minded. Right. And uh, there are some cool upgrades and whatnot, but there's you know there's not a whole lot of variety, but there's some pretty cool maps, and you know your 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 characters are cool and whatever, and you have a lot of fun. Little Bucket, this is a shout yeah, out to yeah. my, my he nephew. He made a character named Little Bucket, uh, and then there's Big Bucket. Yeah, me and, and my nephew did. One of the Fat Bucket. Or... They looked horrible too. Yeah. That that's the we like to make characters that just look so goofy. That's and then... a, that's another thing. This one really <laughs> lets you kind of customize your character, and it is a lot of fun to personalize your character and just own it. So yeah. And then the Batman and Robin thing is the stealth version so it's not the fps it's stealth i mean there's a tiny bit of fps like with you know remote uh batarangs and stuff but but mostly it's just you know trying to escape when you're spotted and then swoop in and knock someone out and run backs but it's all really fun it really is fun it's just the problem of not enough people are online most people have at least a freeze every hour kind of thing it's very regular uh it's hard to be balanced on matches. Matchmaking is very difficult. Matchmaking, okay. Yeah. But it's it's it is really fun. So yes, I when really it works, it. it is really fun. And it does look like they'll have more modes. Right now, it's just the regular mode, which is actually kind of fun. It's kind of a you know like a a zone uh, 
conquering kind of thing because every right. time you take over the zone you wait long enough it'll diminish the reinforcements of the other side so you want to protect the zone you know king of the hill kind of thing but then you also want to kill uh and then you have to watch out for batman and it's pretty easy for batman and robin to kind of pick you off while you're waiting in that zone yeah uh, plus you can huck grenades in there and they've got like you know the jokers have like blimps like little zeppelins that can fly in and blow up and little little, little, little uh, mines uh the jack-in-the-box kind of thing yeah and Bane. Oh, that's another thing. We should talk. You should talk about the villains. I'll let you talk about that. Oh, right. Okay. So uh, about halfway through the the, uh, the match, um, you get a door that spawns a, a hero or a super villain. Uh, so you have either Bane or Joker. And so the first teammate that gets there, either on the on the Bane side or the Joker side, can pull out their villain. Yeah. So it's the same villain. door. And Batman and Robin usually know where those doors are, so they might yes. be camping to take out the first couple. Right. But, but yeah, if Bane, if the Bane group gets it there first, it's Bane, and uh, he is super friggin'. Bane, Bane is way too don't. overpowered for. Way it's too so powerful. fun to kill him, it, though. But it but, is also really, him. it is really fun to be Bane because <laughs> yeah. you're just running around, grabbing people by the head and Smashing chucking them. them yeah. yeah, it's just so much fun, so 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 wonderful. Whereas Joker's character just has guns and he's all about. But he does attacking. have one shot kills. Yes, he has that one gun that's one shot kill. His other uh, uh, one does like a volley of explosive ammo. And that's a lot of fun as well, but it's just so much cooler to be Bane. Yeah, Bane is kind of one of those things that takes no understanding of the character. You just run, grab, yeah. kill. He has a um, rocket launcher, but you're probably not going to use it because all you're going to do is run after the little enemy icons. and. Just but push. I think that Joker could be almost as effective if you realize what you're doing, right? Yes. And if you if you have a strategy, if you have teammates with you as well. Because that was the one thing is like, you know, finally killing Joker, killing Bane, and it's really difficult. And then one of the peon, you know, like minions or whatever is right next door to like pick you off while you're concentrating on Joker. It yeah. sucks. Yeah. So anyway, but there's a lot of that fun teamwork. And it, yeah, when it works, it's so damn cool. So yeah, I just, just hope that they continue with the bug stuff and uh, some more modes. Right. And more people start playing it. They they recently this is this would be the second patch. Uh, they actually released a patch when it first came out, um, and then they re released the second patch, which kind of dealt with some of the in-game in-story mode uh, problems with uh, falling through the floor and and uh, the lack of progression where you get stuck and you can't progress further in the story. So they kind of fixed that. I'm waiting for the multiplayer thing and. Unless they, they do it within a week, I might shelve the multiplayer until I can play it later. Unless, of course, you want to play, in which case, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to play. It's just a lot of waiting. So let's talk just a little bit more about the actual main campaign. Because the okay. main story involves so few villains, but it is such a well-tailored story. Because um, you don't get Mad Hatter, you don't get... Like uh, uh, Deadshot, you don't get uh, lots of the guys unless you play the out other stuff. Right, right. The, the, the other side missions. quests. So, so I, because I was kind of behind you and you had already gone through it, you know, I just kind of powered through the story. So, so yes, there was a lot lacking there. Uh, but just like Arkham City, there's so much to explore. I mean, I'm I'm like thirty percent of the game or something like that, and I'm I'm already through it. So it's there's so much more to explore. Uh, how do you feel about that? Because I'm kind of disappointed that they're not they didn't involve it a little more in the story. Well, uh, it's one of those things where it's like everybody's like, oh, it's so urgent, I have to do this now, but if I do this now, then I won't do this or that or this. So mm -hmm. I really wish I would have involved that in there. Right, right. But at least it doesn't do the Mass Effect thing where if I don't do it now, I'll never be able to do it. Yeah, yeah. But Well, what I, what I, what I, the way, the way that I thought of it, <laughs> this is what I, what I, what I, uh, the way that I saw it happening in my mind was essentially, um, this is year two of Batman, so these uh, 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 supervillains aren't organized with each other, so they're not really going to be working. I mean, yes, you had Killer Croc in the story, but you're not going to see Mad Hatter kind of working with the Joker or working with Black Mask or or Killer Croc or the Joker or anything. And then you had, you know, um, you know the assassins. That kind of makes sense that they're kind of off, not in the actual story, kind of doing their own thing. Yeah, and I'm not really talking about them being actual part of the story. Just kind of like while you're doing this, it leads you to this. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that then. Uh, well, uh, I guess we've had a conversation as well about Arkham versus, you know, Asylum versus City versus Origins. Right. You like the very tailored story. I like the kind of more open story. And so you like City the best. I do like City the best. In fact, I think City is just slightly better than this one unless they fix the patches real soon and make it awesome. I think Origins has a tighter story. Uh, I really did enjoy it. But you kind of blew my mind the other day with Asylum because I have an affinity for Asylum because it is kind of close quarters and it's so magical. And I think City kind of ruins that a little bit because I spend too much time getting from one space to the other kind of thing, right. whatever. Um, but I was also projecting the crappy uh, Titan 
Jokers and stuff like that on Arkham City. I, I forgot that it was an asylum. So as soon as you brought that to my attention, I was like, oh, yeah, I hate that story. Like, I hated that story bit because it was so contrived. Yes. Although now, because of Origins, you kind of understand it. Right. right? So it kind of all works together, and I'm kind of happy about that. Um, but I still enjoy the mechanics and the simplicity of Asylum the best. And then I think I might go Origins. I mean, City's really cool, and it has, you know, Catwoman and a lot of other characters that are not present in Origins. Right. But I think Origins was such a good, you know, tight story. That's that's one of the things I wanted to bring up. In this one, in Origins, it, it makes a huge deal out of playing as uh, Deathstroke. Uh, you, can, yep. you can play as him. We had a... But in Arkham City, you actually played as Catwoman. Yeah, you, ran you actually around the had city. missions. Yeah, you ran around But maybe around they'll have downloadable, because they had, you know, like, uh, Harley Quinn's Revenge. Here's, here's hoping. Um, but in this one, you play as, you play as him in Challenge the challenge modes. Yeah, so you, have, you can either attack with him or do stealth missions with him, and that's, that's it. You don't run around the city. You don't, you know, perform tasks. You just kind of, whatever. So yeah, I so am, that's disappointing. I'm disappointed. But, but again, overall, yeah, it, it was be. a fun experience. Again, multiplayer is really fun when it works. The story was pretty damn good, so I, I recommend it. I would just wait, shelf it until you get a really good uh, 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 patch for it and it fixes all the problems, hopefully. When I get the collector's edition, I'll be sure to show you guys a little statue. Yeah, the cool statue. And we'll be really reviewing the documentary, I'm sure, as well. So. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we are excited about this game, so yes. if you like it, get online. You know, Support it that way. Uh, please watch us on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Uh, watch our great playlists. The game has been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a car game, our print shirts, stores, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. And we are gearing up to move cross-country. We're going to be working for a, an outfit called Game Salute. Uh, we both are working there, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. They help uh, get indie games to market, board games, that sort of thing. That's exactly what we wanted. So so we're totally looking forward to it. Uh, please bear with us as we kind of reformulate uh, dual review and figure out what we're doing. We're packing a lot of stuff yes. to move cross-country. West we're doing Coast, it East Coast. Very, very soon. So, um, yeah, we'll be doing these dual reviews as we can. Please just bear with us, and thanks for your support. Uh, we'll see you next time. See you. Oh, dude. You always miss the first one. No. Next time on Door Review, it's Relic Runners. I played this nonstop um, since the day I got it. Played online, played everything. Got nearly 100%. Well, maybe not because I guess I didn't do New Game Plus, and they include New Game Plus in that. So technically, I'm at like 48% because uh, I'd have to do New Game Plus to get the full 100. Uh, and maybe even after that, that, that other uh, mode which says that you have like one continuum anyway. online. Yeah, uh, so anyways, this came out, this was a WB uh, Montreal that came out with it.